Hello guys, welcome to PlusEqual. In today's tutorial, uh, we will be introducing you to quests in our Creator Kit RPG provided by Unity. So in the previous tutorial, we added an NPC to our game, and now this time we will add a quest. And don't worry, we will make this simple and without coding. So the first stuff that we need to do is come to the NPC and let's create an empty inside this, so create empty. And let's call it quest. And now we need to look for a component for this that will be the quest script. There it is. So selecting this, we'll put the quest script into our quest object in the hierarchy. That is a child of the NPC. So, so far, so good. You can also put the title and the description already. Since we have a lot of trees, let's put a a mission to grab a, an apple. So let's give it a title like uh, Newton favorite fruit. And I hope you understand the reference. Uh, let's put the in the description. Find an apple. Find an apple for the archer. Now we need to assign some of the stuff. Um, we need to add a new component here. That will be the conversation script. So look for a conversation script and grab it to here. And now we can add like in the other, in the previous tutorial, uh, we did the same thing for a dialogue with the NPC, the archer. Uh, now we need to do pretty much the same, but will be for a quest. So I'll put an ID of 1.1, but uh, we already have this for the normal dialogue. So I'll put dot one again. And I will put uh, the text something like I'm starving. Get me an apple, please. And let's put create. So after we have one conversation script for the introduction of the quest, uh, now we need to add another one. So we add, add a new component that will be another conversation script and this will be for when we complete the quest for the archer. So let's add something new here. 1.1.2 And let's say something really simple, really simple like Thank you. The apple was great. Let's put create. And now we need to fetch this into the quest in progress conversation. So we can say this. Uh, I'm starving, get me an apple please. And when the quest is completed, we will say thank you. The apple was great. So we need to put um, this stuff in the right spot here. So the quest dialogue will run just fine. Now we need to actually add something here in the scene. Let's right click and in gameplay prefabs, we can add inventory item here. So press this here and this will be an item. In this case, it's a golden apple. And we should change the name uh, for golden apple. So let's put its right name here. And delete whatever is there. You can also see the name here. Uh, so the sprite is golden apple. Uh, make sure you put the same name here. And down here, you can put something like three instead of one. So when you pick the item, it will give you three golden apples instead of one. Now we need to associate this with the quest that we have. So we go to the quest uh, under NPC and enable on quest start. We can open this and the list is empty. So what we need to do is add a one here, one object, and we grab the golden apple and put it here. Done. I will move my apple more or less under the tree. This apple will appear uh, when the quest uh, when the quest start. That's what uh, enable on quest start means. Now we also need to open up the required items and add here another element. And this will be the golden apple again. So underneath this, oops, let me. Let me see what's happening here. Okay, I needed to click the arrow twice to this to open. I will put, I want one 
and then I drag golden apple. So I'm saying to complete this quest, I need one golden apple. Now we need a way to put this relatable to our NPC. So we are going for NPC and down here we, where we have um, the conversation script, we'll grab the 1.1, you need to do something for me first. And let's put edit. And here you see that we have an optional quest. So I will grab my quest and I will drag it right here. And let, don't forget to put update. Now, when we say you need to do something for me first, it will have a quest that is Newton, favorite fruit. I think we did everything well so far, so we might be able to test this out. So, let's move on. Here is our archer. Let's get close. Hey! So, we will pick the first option that we have associated with the quest. So if I put this, it says, you need to do something for me first. And if we press space again, uh, the quest should be ongoing. I might be able to pick the apple now. Let's grab the apple. You collected three golden apples. Very nice. So now we go close to him. How can I open a menu? I don't know much of the controllers of this. We should be able to open the menu to see the, the mission. Let's get close. Thank you. The apple was great. Okay. Let's press, let's, let's press space. And now we are free to go and we only have two apples. So one was given to the archer. So this could be a little better. Um, here in the in the conversation script we might want to have for example 1.1.1 here and then when we say you need to do something for me first um, it can say what we have inside the quest i'm starving get me an apple please and then instead of triggering the mission here uh, we will do just after that uh, conversation or we can have another option to refuse and not accept that quest for now. But anyway, that's how you set up this for now. In a simple way. We can also add a last step here. That will be adding a reward for the player for completing the quest. So to add an item uh, for a, re a reward is pretty much like we have added this one here, the apple. Uh, close to the archer, you want to right click. Uh, let me take this grid off, right click, gameplay prefabs, and we'll add an inventory item again. So now we can change this to something else. Let's change the, the sprite to something else here. What do we have? We have a chicken. Well, a chicken, a chicken is actually pretty fun. We have a chest. So... I suppose we'll pick the chicken for now and <laughs> we'll rename this uh, from inventory item to chicken and let's deactivate the chicken when we start the game so let's deactivate let's go to the NPC or even better let's go to the quest and here under let's put this like this reward items We'll add another one, that will be our chicken. Oop. And I think that's it, let's try our game for now. The game should be working just fine. So we don't have any apple here. Uh, now we go to the archer. And when we ask him, the mission should be running. This part here should have uh, a better transition because we don't understand what we need to do but we pick the golden apple <coughs> we get back to the archer and it says thank you the apple was great and he give, give us a chicken and that's pretty much it nice job if you have come this far with me and the only thing that is missing now will be creating a story item 
and that will be it really so i'll see you guys in the last video of this creator kit rpg series hope you like this tutorial i just want to thank you remember remember to leave a like and subscribe that helped me out a lot i'll see you next time thanks a bunch see you there